This morning, Hollywood <laughs> is remembering a creative force behind one of the most successful shows in television history. Sam Simon, co-creator of The Simpsons, died in Los Angeles. He collected nine Emmy Awards over his career and helped make the animated series into a TV juggernaut. CBSN's Vladimir Dudier shows us how Simon also made a mark giving away millions. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. Simon lost his battle with colon cancer on Sunday. He was just 59 years old. But his legacy will live on through the decades of laughter he brought to others. TV producer Sam Simon brought Springfield to life when he introduced America to The Simpsons back in 1989. This is so cool. One of the show's founding fathers, Simon created some of its most memorable characters. Time to pay for your two days of debauchery, you hungover drones. Including evil nuclear power plant owner, Mr. Burns. Simon is credited with encouraging the cast members to read their parts together, allowing them to play off one another in the studio. In an interview with 60 Minutes correspondent Morley Safer, Simon said he was constantly surprised by the success of the show. I thought it was an idea that would go absolutely nowhere. And it turns out that people just accepted it, went along for the ride. Although Simon exited The Simpsons in 1993, he kept his title as executive producer and received ongoing royalties that he claimed totaled tens of millions of dollars each year. Simon spent his fortune helping animals. He created the Sam Simon Foundation to train rescue dogs as service animals. He donated generously to animal rights organizations like PETA and the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society a group that works to disrupt whaling operations. I consider this the greatest honor of my life. I think the battle for animal rights is the most important battle. On Monday, social media was flooded with tributes to Simon. Comedian and former Simpsons writer Conan O'Brien tweeted, Sam Simon's contribution to the spirit of sharp, well-observed comedy is incalculable. Even if that comedy intersected with tragedy. The day I was diagnosed, I made a promise to myself that I would not spend the rest of my life uh, in bed watching television, which is bizarre because it's my favorite thing to do. Fabulous show. Simon is also credited with writing the Raven segment in the first Treehouse of Horror Halloween episode, which went on to become a series staple. The show is now in its 26th season. Charlie? Oh, I love it. And I still really going do. strong. What a legacy. What a and, legacy. Uh, and all the charitable contributions he made, a guy who created something that he said to Morley Sabe he thought it would last a year. Yeah. Lasted a lot Goes more to than show, that. Yeah. Yeah.